Now, we've got plenty of dream rigs, but this time we went out on someone else's dream rig. This Stabycraft 2750 Centre Cab is the brainchild of Matt Watson, who's pretty much a New Zealand species of fish. Now the Stabycraft team and Matt love this boat so much, they decided to put it into production. The configuration is based on a lot of the boats which Matt fished on over in Mexico. Other than the obvious feature, which is the walk around, it's got a little something which makes us feel at home. The 2050 hardtop has been tweaked and dropped straight in the middle of this 2750 centre cap. Now the standard features in this boat are off the hook. It's got the same bait station configuration which we know and love, except the bait tank has been moved over the port side and been replaced with a tackle drawer. Now there's also two tuna tubes which come as standard too, and they fit some pretty big Mac tuna as we discovered. This thing would be perfect in Lizard Island. The customizations extend below the waterline too. They've added two strakes further forward which give the boat great lift. As you'd expect, the 2750 also features Stabycraft's arrow pontoons which give the boat great performance in the sea and amazing stability. Now despite what you might think from the size of this thing, you'd be surprised to hear that your wife's land cruiser can even tow it. It comes in at under 3.5 tonne. And that's with fuel, tackle, gear, muesli bars and Captain Morgan. Now you've also got 500 litres of fuel which feed twin Yamaha 150 horsepower four strokes. Now this is one seriously fishy boat with some seriously fishy features. So we found the fishiest bloke we know, Jason Hedges. Now we fished in Jason's hometown of Kingscliff near Tweed Heads, so we knew we were gonna be onto some good fish. We went out through the Tweed Bar and discovered it was seriously bumpy offshore. There were a few boats milling around, but by the time the tide change hit, everyone had gone home. Now the action started pretty slowly. We bagged a few four to five kilo Mac tuna before one of the captain's crew spotted a black marlin free jumping about 10 metres away from the boat. We pulled up stumps, went out to the live bait grounds, grabbed some slimies and some yakkers and beelined it back into the inshore reef. We only had one slimy that was the perfect size and after a bill whacking frenzy, it was pretty much gone. Every bait that went out after that was snipped off, so we decided to switch over to wire leaders and see if we could crack one of these Spanish mackerel. It took all of two minutes before the little Tiagra 16 went off. This Spanish mackerel would have been between 15 to 20 kilos and put up an epic battle. Now this is the most southern Spanish mackerel I think I've ever caught or seen for that matter. I think this fish might have been lost. So, what do we love most about the 2750 center cap? Well, we could fish three blokes easily out the back, all with live baits, while someone was up on the bow casting stick baits and poppers. Despite the average weather, everyone stayed dry on the boat, and when we were running home, everyone could fit easily inside the lockable cab. So, who's this boat gonna suit? Well, it'd be an epic charter boat, as well as perfect for doing some extended long range touring. Matt Watson, you've done it again. Maybe Stabycraft will build the same boat for the captain, except with a tower on top.